All right, we're here at ETH Denver. I am joined with Vivi from Octopus Networks. Vivi, how are you doing? Great. Thank you for having me, Kyle. Well, the internet computer community is a buzz. Octopus Networks and your product, Omni, come into the internet computer. Um, everyone's excited. Do you want to give us some quick background on, on Omni? Sure, sure. Yeah. You know, first of all, it's our order to really be part of the ICP family. And so, yes, I would like to tell you a little bit about what it is and, you know, the, the backstory behind it. Mm -hmm. So Omniti, uh, in short, is an interoperability chain developed by Octopus Network, built on ICP, and, and it enables different, uh, different blockchains to transfer assets and data seamlessly and in a decentralized manner. That's awesome. Obviously part of like the whole multi-chain uh, thesis for the internet computer. So you mentioned Octopus Network. Give me some background on, on the company and, and, um, yeah. and the story behind Octopus. Sure, sure. So Octopus Network is a Web3 infrastructure and um, it provides a lot of solutions to create this uh, vision that we all share, which is the you know, multi-chain and uh, you know, to create this internet of computers. And so Octopus Network uh, provides shared security. So like you work with like near protocol and then and then created adapted IPC to connect Cosmos to near. But and then and now uh, we, you know, but so you can see that Octopus Network has spent a lot of, um, you know, time and, and efforts in the interoperability space. And so, like our team, uh, like headed by Luis Leo, who's not here today, but um, you know we have this the teams of very solid developers and researchers. And so when we are, we are like searching for the best solution possible for the cross chain transactions and um, and communication, um, and that is also when when the team was like building the adapted IPC, and then our team had used to receive a grant from ICP, you know, Interchain Foundation to create uh -huh. a substrate IPC. So like with all this, you know, you can imagine the team has like encountered a lot of challenges and, and difficulties finding the solution. Yeah. And then one, one day, like surprisingly, like Lewis and the team, like they found, they, they found out about ICP and that it seems like a lot of answers, a lot of like problems could be answered with ICP. So, um, so that is how Omniti was born and the rest is history. That's awesome. So obviously the Octopus Network team has been building for a while. Yeah. Uh, you guys have long, long been in the space and, and um, I love how you kind of described the, there's technical challenges and then there's also like product, product market fit challenges as well and how you guys have been um, navigating that. So when you came across ICP, um, you know, I love reading the white paper because it kind of laid out this great case, but like why, why, like what problems did ICP solve and like why was ICP the chain of, uh, uh, come, uh, for your next step? Sure, sure. Yeah, exactly. So like, exactly like you said, like there are a lot of like the technical difficulties and then the product uh, market fits and, and there are a lot of different challenges like, um, how to validate proofs and then, you know, the, the very, the, the, the low, um, transaction speeds and then high cost and all that. So, um, so we found out that ICP really has some really powerful and unique offerings and uh, we wouldn't do it without icp of it wouldn't happen without icp because you know like there, there's so many I'm, I'm just gonna name kind of three uh highlights and okay so for example i'm sure you know about it but i would like people outside I, icp like they also would like to know like so um icp has very powerful um powerful infrastructure you have very fast finality but also very low uh, storage cost and computing cost. So, so that lays a really solid foundation for all the projects to build there. And then, and then also second, um, the, you have a lot of very cool technologies like the keychain technology, um, that really simplifies the complexity of cross trade communication. Yeah. So we think that this is really important, especially for like, um, our solution with Omniti that, you know, like that helps a lot us to build on ICP so that we can have our solution to to connect all the different blockchains. Yeah. And then also not to mention the reverse gas fee, like this this model. Okay. And you know, like you and I know for any new users to enter a new chain, you need to I'll buy the token first, put it there so that you can have the have them for transaction 
fees and and that stops a lot of new users from coming in right. already right so 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 i think the reverse guest model is a game changer and it also emphasizes how important user experience is for icp and how you know we put we value user experience yeah. so a lot of those like we think that this is a strong foundation for for us to build on icp that's awesome i mean the, obviously the vision for icp's world computer that vision is a multi-chain future and you guys are, are growing it out. In terms of um, a value proposition to, I guess, who's like your target audience and what's the value proposition you're, you're bringing to them with Omni? Sure, sure. Yeah, exactly. So like uh, there's some very unique values, obviously, like Omniti creates and uh, can contribute to the multi-chain ecosystem, um, obviously with ICP as a foundation. Um, so I'm going to like that a lot, but I'm, I'm also still, I'm going to give you property three highlights. Okay. And if there's a one takeaway, I, I would like the, um, you know, like the people who are watching us or listening to us to you know that um, Omniti is, you know, probably one of the, by far, the only like 100% trustless protocol Omnichain out there um, that, that has all the resources on chain, yep. but without sacrificing user experience. Yeah. And and then let me dive a little bit deeper. So like first, like uh, hundred percent trustless, right? So um so Omniti doesn't rely on trust assumptions, but it rather it uses a, a, a combination of methods of having like for example full nodes, full nodes for uh, for settlement layers, settlement um chains like Bitcoin, Ethereum, or even ICP. Mm -hmm. But and then it also has another um approach such as uh, like clients or uh, ZK proof for okay. execution chains. So in, in this way, it kind of integrates different blockchains seamlessly, seamlessly and without sacrificing security. So it's 100% trustless and secure. So this is like one of the very first like unique uh, yeah. very proposition that we can bring to the ecosystem. And then also we, we use the uh, modular approach. So the modular approach really supports all the you know settlement layers and and execution layers. So so that caters to different specific needs from all the different blockchains. So it creates a lot of um, uh, flexibility. Yeah. So that enables uh, all these different chains to connect very well together. Uh, and then also I think one of the most um, important features and 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 values we create uh, is the direction sections. Okay. And a lot of other systems they. What I do is, you know, you you take the data, um, for go to the uh, settlement chains for transactions, and then you go back to execution chain. Right. So the problem that creates is, is slow and it costs a lot, right? So like back and forth, back and forth. And so right. with, like I said, like with what ICP provides and then with all this like very um, innovative way that Omniti uh, put together so we can, we can have all this dumb, direct transactions and in a very decentralized and seamless way with good user experience. I love I love how you keep coming back to user experience because yeah. that is such a sore point for Web3 right now and that next step for Web3 to really compete with Web2 on a user experience is like, that's a pretty key. And it sounds like Omnity is going to be really focused on um, um, a, a phenomenal user experience. So I love that. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Because I think, you know, we're at this big conference and and and, and one of the big problems Web3 or challenges uh, like Web3 is facing is uh, user experience and adoption, right? So right. without good user experience, we can't really bring in the Web2 people and everything. So so I think as infrastructure for us, we, have, we, we think that we have a very important role to lay a good foundation mm -hmm. for all these applications and execution layers, you know, all these different apps that they can build and then they can... We, you can you can only happen when you have a good foundation, right? Okay? So so yeah, That's, and then we are very happy that ICP also has user experience in my very user experience centric. Okay, yeah, 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 exactly. I mean, the idea is compete with Web two on user experience, raise that bar, and and that's how we get the mass adoption into into crypto. I mean, I always I always say. Uh, Web3 succeeds when people don't realize they're using a Web3 platform, exactly. right? It's just a seamless, a, a, a great app. They're just using it and they yeah. don't even, they don't even have to care that it has a, a blockchain background. Yeah. So talk, we've been talking about um, uh, Octopus Network and Omnity and how you guys got to today. Tell me like, what is the future? Like, what's the vision for uh, the future for Omni? Yeah. So I think this is the, 
the, the future and vision that uh, we all share. And, and we were, you know, with ICP as the, the foundation, and we are envision that like, we're going to create this multi chain future where, like, all the different blockchains can communicate and transfer assets or data seamlessly and in a decentralized way. So, like, like exactly like you said, when users are using it, they don't need to, they don't need to be aware like, oh, the technology and whatsoever behind. They just yeah. use it like they use Web two, like we use internet products, right? So, like, but but the big difference is it's decentralized, it's trustless. So right. we're taking to another level. So that is the future that we are very confident that we are creating it now with ICP. Yeah. I always say, like, I've never used a Web2 app and been like, I really use this app because it's hosted on AWS and not a uh, different flat. Like, the, the technology stack doesn't matter from a user's perspective. And it sounds like you guys are really touching into that, abstract away a lot of that complexity uh, so that the user can just have a good user experience. Yes. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. That's, that's awesome. So in terms of... Um, like, uh, how can people learn more about Omnity and, and um, like, where, where, where can more, they get gather more information? Sure. So we are actually launching in April this year. So okay. it's very fast. And then obviously we're going to launch in, you know, with ICP. And then, um, so we would like. In, in April of this people, year. In April this year. It's really fast. Really, like, very fast. And so um, we would, it's very exciting. So yeah. we would like people to stay tuned and follow us and our Twitter, um, OCT underscore network and okay. OCT, dot, uh, OCT dot network. So it's our website. Okay. So just, just follow us and stay tuned. And just one thing I would, would like to make is really, we wouldn't, we're so happy to be part of the ICP family and we wouldn't do it without ICP. We, or Omniti wouldn't happen without ICP. And also with Omniti, we are going to make ICP the, the hub for the internet of blockchains. We obviously love love to hear that. And, and it's kind of working together to build out that vision of a world computer and, and advance our industry in, the, in that direction. So Vivi, I really do appreciate your time and, and thank you for, uh, for sitting down with me. Thank you so much, Kyle. Yeah.